So it looks like the Batman 2 got delayed again. It was originally set to come out in October of 2025. Now it's pushed a whole year. So the new release date is October 2026, which is roughly five years from when the first movie came out. I think they easily could have rushed it and gotten it out even during October of this year, but maybe that's not the right decision. Some of the reasons given for it was obviously both the writers and actor strikes. I think it's a little bit more complicated than that. There wasn't any script given to any of the cast or crew members just going off of what was said in some recent interviews. So I think obviously the writing wasn't done. And it looks like they're also focusing on the Penguin show which is still set out to release in 2024. So probably a lot went into that even before consideration of the sequel. And realistically speaking maybe just both Matt Reeves and Warner Brothers wasn't really prepared. They weren't sure what to expect with the release of the first movie and were really surprised by the results. About $800 million in the box office with a $200 million budget. So maybe he didn't really pull such a George Lucas in terms of having all these plans written and in mind from the very beginning. So that's probably why we're seeing uh, some time being taken now. And just another kind of climate thing looking at movies right now there is maybe a little bit of superhero fatigue so maybe they want to uh, really get a good timing for the movie and then you also have the new superman movie coming out in 2025 this was james gunn's movie so i think they probably don't want any overlap there that's probably another timing decision and just also looking at a little bit of history here, I think even we didn't realize this because there wasn't any attention on it yet. But the length of the first movie really was about the same, being five years. Matt Reeves didn't sign on until 2017, and the movie didn't release until 2022. So that's about five years there. So that's kind of maybe just the pace at what uh, Matt Reeves works at, and that's totally fine. And then you also have things you can't really control, scheduling conflicts, if they're bringing back a lot of the same cast members and crew, composers, even cinematography guys. They're probably working on uh, other projects at the same time, so maybe they couldn't just get everyone uh, at the same time, so they're just going to push it back so they don't have to rush. Things like that, I think, really come into play here. And I think just uh, looking at this optimistically, I think... They're really trying to take their time, do a really good job on this, and make sure that this is a well-received movie again to even set up a third movie, which I think will likely happen. Um, and so looking at kind of just where we're at with this movie and what they could do with the plot, Robert Pattinson's going to be about 40 years old during the development of this. So unless they're really doing some heavy makeup, they might have to... Uh, do some sort of a time jump even for all of the natural aging for the actors or they could even kind of work uh, his age into it with maybe something like him setting up a Robin in this film and then Robin really kind of becoming uh, the main Batman with Robert Pattinson just playing more of a Bruce Wayne in a manager role but I think also Robert Pattinson looks fairly young for his age so it might not be too much of an issue there but this is really a more detective focus on Batman, more of a focus on his intellectual side as well. So that's why I don't think his age really makes that big of a difference here. And I think there's also a lot of stuff being done uh, to make a good villain and a good main antagonist as well. They could go someone like Mr. Freeze, Hush. I see those as the two main contenders for a grounded antagonist for the sequel. And then in the trilogy, the Joker and the Riddler's storyline is set up there. I could also see them going a Court of Owls as kind of the big bad behind everything, the grand finale. Would also be interesting to see a proper live action adaptation of someone like the Red Hood. But really a lot of options there. It also looks like they're really set on this October release, so maybe they'll again do something with the long Halloween or something with Halloween in general, 
or maybe that's just the time of year they think the movie will do the best but gonna be really interested to follow the development of this movie hopefully they'll release an early teaser trailer so we can really start speculating on that and again we still have the penguin show this year and i think we'll very likely see a batman cameo or even some setup for the next villain so we'll see what happens